Now let's review math, grade 4, module 5, lesson 5. Order and operations with fractions. Topic A, decomposition and fraction equivalence. Alright, so in this problem, what we have is an area model. And it shows that I have five parts. One, two, three, four, five. And that one of those parts is shaded in. So I could represent that with this area model, and I could mark off that, okay, this right here is my one-fifth piece. But one-fifth is not the only way I can think about this. I could also look at it as tenths. What I can do is I can draw a line, and I can break this area model in half. I can draw a line right here across the middle. And then I would have two parts shaded, and I would have ten parts total. So this would be also represent two-tenths, but they are the same amount. So I could say that one-fifth is equal to one-tenth plus one-tenth. I could also say that this is equal to two times one-tenth. Two times I have one-tenth, which is also equal to two-tenths. So I could make one really big number sentence showing that different things are all equal to each other. So one-fifth is the same as one-tenth plus one-tenth, which is the same as two times one-tenth, which is the same as two-tenths. All right, so in this one, let's decompose our one-third area model. So here's my area model. It represents one-third, and we're going to decompose it and show that sh and represent it as four-twelfths. So instead of having three parts, I'm going to have 12 parts. So I'm going to have to draw some lines across here. There. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve parts, and of those parts, four of them are shaded. So I could say that one-third is equal to one-twelve plus one-twelve plus one-twelve plus one-twelve. Because now I have twelve, I have my area model divided into twelve parts. And this part right here is representing one-twelve. And this part is representing one twelfth. So it's this one and this one. So I have four twelfths shaded. One, two, three, four. I can count them. I can add them together and turn them into four twelfths. I can also say that this is equal to four times one twelfth because I have one twelfth four times. Alright, so now we're going to take an area model that shows one half and we're going to show that it is equal to five tenths. So I know I'm going to have to take my area model and draw my lines to separate it and to break it up. So what, how many lines should I draw? I guess is how we should look at this. Would, would drawing one line give me tenths? Well, let's try it. If I separate this area model into half, then I would have four parts. So no, drawing one line is not going to be enough. What if I drew two lines? When I drew one line and separated it one time, I had four parts. If I draw two lines and separate it, then I have six parts. I'm trying to get ten parts. That's not enough. So if I drew one line, I had four parts. If I drew two lines, I had six parts. I wonder how many it will be if I draw three lines. That'll give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts. So maybe I should just draw four lines. One, two, three, four, that's going to give me ten parts. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now I have 10 parts and 5 of them are shaded. So let's write an addition sentence that shows this. That 1 half is equal to 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth plus 1 tenth which is equal to 5 tenths. And I can also show it with multiplication. That 1 half is equal to 1 tenth 5 times. Or 1 half is equal to 5 times 1 tenth, which is equal to 5 tenths. All right, that's going to wrap things up for Lesson 5, where we've been working to decompose unit fractions using area models to show equivalence.